It showed up in great condition. Packaged really well. No damage. Did pretty good. They could be our camping dogs. <laughs> yeah, down a few to alligators. <laughs> So what's up guys? It's um <laughs> it's a little bit later than the last little clip that you just saw. So as you probably see in the title to this video, um I ordered a rooftop tent. So a lot of you, if you follow me for a while, you know, you know I, I went down the, the rabbit hole of building my own rooftop tent and loved it um, and just kind of outgrew it realized the limitations that I built into it basically and um, it got to this point to where I really wanted one I, I started looking at like, more hard shells I was doing the soft top um, leather cover that's what I built and that's kind of the type of tent I thought I wanted but after understanding like the hard shells and how simple they are I decided that's what I wanted well um, I picked up a uh, a rooftop tent that was on Amazon um, reached out to a, a seller and got this one it is um, camp right and I'll put the logo on the screen I'll also post the link down in the description below um, it runs uh, significantly cheaper than a lot of your other brands that I've been seeing out there and, uh, and I just want to share my experience with it and first off let me just say, uh, the one that I'm about to show you that came in is my second one. First one came in, the shell was damaged, uh, which you saw in the clip, and I had to send it back. So let me talk through the, first off, uh, for my review, let me talk through the customer service of how that went. Um, <clears throat> because uh, at the time of my return, they had actually changed the pricing on the tent uh, by a, a, a few hundred dollars. Um, when I set up my return, it, um, uh, it actually, I didn't get the ability to do like a replacement. It was return only, uh, refund only. So, uh, but how that worked, right there, I had a lot of anxiety over that and, and what would happen if that happened. So how that goes is, uh, Amazon and the company will set up a freight truck. Uh, I took all the parts, put them in the tent, strap the tent down as you'll see how it works. I mean, basically just clamp the clamshell down and they showed up and I helped the guy pick it up and set it up in the back of my freight truck and it was off and uh, I had to wait until it actually got returned to the facility um, once it got returned to the facility and checked in um, that um, that refund was placed and I was I actually contacted Amazon instead of I say refund sorry um, they actually kind of did it all for me. It was just like a return, but it kind of seemed like a refund and then repayment. Um, so anyway, regardless, it was pretty, it was pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. Um, there was a couple of hiccups in it. Um, it sat there for a few days before anyone checked it in. So I had to check in with Amazon and just say, Hey, what gives? I know this thing's there. I'm looking at the tracking number kind of thing, but, um, they were like, Oh, it just hung up in the system. So they pushed it on through. So, but other than that, the, uh, yeah, customer service is great. The new one that came, great shape, uh, not damaged. I will say this, the first one had a crack on the corner. The box was not damaged at all. Uh, I'm not sure how that could have happened inside of it, but uh, yeah, it had a it had a crack in the hard shell. Uh, this new one actually appears to be, uh, it feels like the shell is a little thicker. So uh, that's a plus already out the gate. All right, so I'm gonna bolt the, uh, I'm going to show you some hardware that I have here. So let's first look at, uh, so it comes with an instruction manual and I will say this, um, <laughs> the front of the instruction manual is, uh, not even the tent, uh, nor the brand. 
that you're buying. Just to be honest, it's just a photo. Uh, so, you know, you know where these things come from, uh, but that's okay. It's, uh, I've not had any issues. It's got a basic instruction of how it mounts. Uh, if you watch any videos of how people mount rooftop tents at all, this should not be very hard for you to figure out. Um, and I'll, I'll walk you through some of it. Uh, so it does come with, the ladder is actually installed on the tent. Um, it comes with a, uh, a light. We'll talk about that in a second. And the bolting hardware as well as the poles and uh, some other things. All right, so instructions, very simple. Um, apparently they sell another style of tent that is like that, uh, the, the pop-up style. So there's like instructions for both uh, in here. There's basic instructions on the ladder, a couple things like that. So honestly, I, I, I'll say this, like this is pretty, this is pretty useless. <laughs> I, I, I glanced at it and I was like, I, I don't need this anymore. Um, so let's go to uh, the light. So um, it comes with a little camp lantern. I mean, this is just one of those little perks, but I mean, quality is, I mean, this thing probably costs a couple bucks in China, but uh, it is solar. The cool part about it is um, a lot. It it has the charging cable, but it's not like USB, so it's a proprietary charging cable. I say cool. Uh, I don't know if that is actually cool. There, uh, it's not super bright, uh, but it's it's hard to tell in the video. But it can be a flashlight, a handheld flashlight, or or um, yeah, hang it like a ladder. That's just one of those. You know, those are parts that come with things. It's just like yeah, will I ever use that? Sure. When it breaks, I'll probably buy something quality if you don't already have quality. Um, the hardware that it comes with, um, it's got some extra nuts there, but it's basically um, two plates, two bolts per, and I've got enough to clamp it on three bars of my roof rack. Um, it's carriage bolts. Uh, they look pretty good quality, I would say. Uh, the nuts are really shallow. That's my only complaint. But the nuts are super shallow. Uh, it comes with these little. Um, yeah, there's airplanes flying low. It comes with these little plastic uh, cap ins for the bars. Um, so, yeah. And then, a uh, really nice thing is they send a 13 millimeter ratchet wrench. Um, it's, uh, it feels. Pretty decent, right? I, I don't know how long it'll last, but hey, it's uh, mainly meant to take on, take off. So they pretty much give you everything you need to mount and unmount. So, so that's basically gear bag for that. Um, additionally, there are um, there's some things like these this pole. It goes inside the tent to stabilize it. We'll look at that later. Uh, and the um, the window, the awning bars. It comes with two long ones for the front, and then two uh, four short ones for the side windows so that's pretty much it for gear and uh, i've already got the tent sitting up on the jeep as you can see <laughs> so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna bolt these down to my roof rack and uh, i'll be right back you get an idea what's happening here so you take these you take these brackets take the bottom section off all right you got this and you just start sliding these in. But you gotta lift this up to get these over each bar. I've seen people say that, hey, you're gonna get these on before you put the tent on. I disagree wholeheartedly. It's just easier to get get the tent on, kind of get it somewhere you, you want it. And then you can take something like a two before or a pry bar or something and just lift it up and put it over each bar. It's a lot easier to do that than to uh, try to get this tent up here with the brackets slid into the bars. All right, so let me show you what I'm doing for my Jeep. So I've actually, this is an older rack and I, I ordered some updated bars. The bars are thicker than I ordered. So I ordered two new ones. So I've got these two heavy duty bars and then I've got my three standard bars. What I'm doing is I'm putting a bracket uh, on the very front one, just because just the wind turbulence and uh, you know, just to make sure. And then I'm putting a bracket on each heavy bar and doing that on each side. So that'll be six brackets 
holding this thing down and I think it's going to be just fine. I just need to adjust it uh, and get the other side in and be good to go. And just to see what I did, <coughs> I just used a two before. I used a two before to prop it up and that was just enough space just doing it back here to be able to maneuver those and put them where I want them. And then when I set it down, as I move the tent around, the brackets will stay on the bars. So I'm going to do that for both sides and then bolt them down. So what I'm doing is I'm using the inner holes. That way it'll go over the bars closer. tape on it to center it up but uh, I'm gonna eyeball it slightly. show you another little touch. Uh, it's going to be hard to see. See those little red things? Uh, they got some black ones on the front. Uh, very hard to see them. But what I did, what I did was I bought this kit of, um, sorry, it's hot. These little rubber things, I'll put a link down in the description. But, you know, me having a soft top with this roof rack, I know that this cloth, it's hard to show you, but this thing flutters as I'm driving. And uh, so does the front slightly. So, yeah. So I just figured I'd do that for a little extra precaution. All right, I'm gonna break for now. And uh, next video, or sorry, next clip, we'll, uh, we'll have it in the shade, folded out. It's uh, already scorching hot out here. I got some stuff to do. Just wanted to capture this part of it. And uh, all right, see you in a minute. All right, so picked up this camp point tent. Camp point tent. We're at a campground, so it's gonna be a little noisy here. Um, I've already talked through the hardware, what it takes to mount. Uh, now I want to show you like how you open it up. So come here and show this real quick. Get closer where you see the strap. It's got these straps that come down from the inside. And then you got this uh, cam buckle. You might need to look right here. Yeah, so you just grab the, uh, just like any other cam, just hit it and release it. Not a big deal at all. So let's do that. As you're releasing it, it'll start raising up. And there's a, there's a uh, strap inside to help you hang on to it. And it's just as easy as popping it up, just like that. What you want to do at this point? Take the strap, kind of toss it to the side. No. When this thing, when this thing is new, when I first opened it up, first popped it up the first time, everything's kind of tangled up. Once you attach the rain fly and everything, and then fold it up and fold it out, it all kind of stays organized. So throw the strap to the side after you get it set up the first time. Just pull the ladder. There we are. There we go. All right. So as it comes down.
got the rail there comes together, kind of snaps in. What you do at that point, it's got some half point adjustments on the top one. So you can go all the way to the top or you can bring it down and allow that. So you see I've got it at a, a decent angle, not a heavy angle, but enough to hold the weight. So inside you have a pad that is not very thick. Um, before I even get moving ahead, I will go ahead and tell you that this pad is awful. Uh, we've already camped in this thing once. All right. So at this point, this is where you take the, the poles and the um, springy window hardware, whatever they're called, the window springs. Now normally this would be stored inside the tent when you fold it up. I just didn't put it in there. Forgot to put it in when I folded it up last time. But it will fit inside the tent. There's two that are longer than the others. You can take those and they'll attach right here. Very simply. Actually, it's probably easier to do it this way. I'm no pro at this. I've only done it once. So that is what it is. So there's the awning. I got you. You're good. So there's the awning. Now you could put the um, the side windows up as well from outside, uh, but I'm actually going to go inside and do it. So here we go. So this was one of the things I was worried about um, before getting this is can I do this from the inside because you can tell depending on how you mount it on the vehicle this could be difficult from the outside but as you can see where are we at it can be done there we go there we go Last piece of the puzzle is this little rod here. It's uh, hard to see it, but one end goes to that. The other end goes up here and it is hot. Now, give me just a second to figure that out. Show you how it goes. Oh, 
All right, it's got this little cam style thing to extend it. Uh, this is the lantern that came with it. So that's what this is, where it came from. All right, so let's look at the windows. So the windows are uh, three layers. There's clear, and, and they all three, all three of the layers have their own zipper. Just to let you know. It's hard to do one hand up here. Okay, right. so that out there. So there's the clear one. And then there is bug screen. And then obviously the the actual tent. Now there's that on both sides. There is no skylight in this one. Um, the door itself has a hard dark shell and then the screen. So you can essentially put down the screen on all three windows, keep an airflow blowing into the tent. Uh, like right now, there's a light, light, light breeze blowing. So I'm gonna, oh, no, hold on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the clear to the outside. I'm gonna grab the zipper on the screen. So, so now zippers are available from inside and outside so yeah anyway so it's good heavy duty frame um, this is absolutely big enough for uh, me and my wife and our small dog we had no issues sleeping in here so this tent is <clears throat> it's 82 inches long not the bed itself but the outside dimensions 82 inches long it's 63 inches wide um i mean it's basically a queen size bed in here the, the mattress pad is basically a queen size it's an 80 by 60 ish pad in here um, and then it's 47 inches tall so to give you an idea i'm six foot tall and i am uh sitting just sitting indian style in the tent sitting upright you put it down babe. thank you um i'm actually able to lean against the back pad and actually have a a backrest um it's got a nice texture here it's a pretty quiet tent we stayed in it before there's a little bit of wind blowing it wasn't uh it didn't ruffle around a lot make a lot of racket um what i will say about it is it's a dark tent it uh when the sun came up um i, I could really see using a uh zero breeze or some sort of air conditioner or ac setup like i've done and put in this thing and like sleep late in the morning even on a hot day so it's very possible to do that um i feel like it's pretty well made it um it's got shocks on each side now i've seen some of the nicer tents like the eye campers the shocks look like they're better made um, but i don't think the tent itself i don't think the the material is any better i mean it looks pretty solid i mean it's almost a um it's almost uh like a rubber eye it's supposed to be waterproof totally waterproof and i believe that it is uh it feels like it is i've water to i have waterproofed my own tent that i built and this thing is made very well uh very much better than that so this pad this pad absolutely sucks this pad has got to go. We actually have an upgrade already. We've slept on this, it sucks. We don't want to sleep on it again, ever again. So this pad is going to come out of here completely and uh, we have something to go in its place. Um, so let me climb out of here and talk about some more stuff on the outside. You can see it's got, a, it's got a good angle on the ladder and it's got that half adjustment. Uh, I had to move the Jeep slightly because I was on a weird, weird angle. And as you can see, it sits on there pretty well. And the rods look a little weird, but they actually make the window hold perfectly flat, perfectly in place. Uh, the rods are at a weird angle each, but you see it's, it's 
like spot on where they're supposed to be. So that's actually a good thing. Yeah, got a little, got a little road, road debris on the top, but you see it folded out. That's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Same thing on this side. You see the strap, it just it's made to just hang over here so that when you get ready to fold it up, you get everything off and pull it forward. Uh, all right, so what else to say about the tent? <coughs> so the folded up dimensions are uh, 62 by 49 by 11. I've already told you the folded out dimension of uh, 82 by 63 by 47 now that's not including the um the awning stick out right on the side that's just talking about the the pad itself from you know this length out to the end of the, the uh, hard bed and then the width of this section and then it's 47 inches tall um it actually feels a little bit taller than that but that's what it says so i'll go with that <clears throat> then you got the extra awning stick out there is, however, um, a big awning that will hang out the front to give you some, some living space. Comes way out here. We'll do another video on that and a review of it. I just wanted to capture the tent today um, to let you know what it's all about. So it's waterproofed. I've already talked about waterproofing. Um, the tent itself weighs 132 pounds, so it's, uh, it's not light by any means or any stretch of the imagination it is definitely a heavy tent um, you will need help getting this on and off of whatever you put it on um, I'm planning on leaving it on here for a while at least through the summer uh, I'm trying it out got a few trips in mind I want to use it on with the Jeep pulling the kayak and whatnot but uh, that's the that's the use case and you get to see all that stuff uh, what else? <clears throat> um, it's made, it's got, the material is 600D Oxford, is that waterproofing material. ABS hard shell on the top. I do see a zipper to where the whole tent unzips from that hard shell, so it does look like uh, the tent fabric can be replaced, or the shell can be replaced fairly easily. Um, now, I'll talk about the warranty in just a minute. I've already been through that. The weight capacity in the tent is uh it states 650 pounds so 650 pounds inside on the hard shell uh bed of it <clears throat> the the uh, load limit on the ladder it said 300 pounds i was looking um i was looking on here and i don't see it, it says 150 kilograms so whatever 150 kilograms are it stated 300 pounds on the website so uh that doesn't sound like 150 kilograms but it could be not good at doing that conversion huh 2.2 pounds is a kilogram yeah so so two well that might be it then that might be 300 plus pounds okay we'll go with that i'm not a brainiac with uh with kilograms to to poundage what else um girl just passed by and said it was a really nice tent. Yeah, we've got a lot of compliments on how nice it is. Uh, I will say this, we just drove around the campground and there's a guy with an eye camper that's right down the way. His looks exactly like this. It looks like it's made exactly the same way. Even the hard shell on it seems to be made the exact same way. So, um, well made, just like any of the others. Uh, just like uh, I'll post uh, in the... Um, the title, this is the cheapest hard shell tent that you'll find on Amazon uh, to okay, date. Tell me. So right here in front of the tent, you have two shoe bags, two heavy duty. They feel well made. Uh, just like the inside of the tent, you have one on each side. All right, so, um, yeah, what we were saying a minute ago was uh, we stayed in it once already and we just come to do the video here today. Everyone who comes around um, gives us a lot of compliments on it, on how good it looks. So I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, this feels pretty, pretty tough. It feels pretty solid. 
Uh, I actually did put a little bit of uh, scratches on it, putting, it, getting it ready to put on myself, like a like a dummy. But I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, really pleased with it. Uh, really pleased with how easy it was to mount. Um, it's a little noisy, but you know what? I I built a tent before this. If you guys follow my channel, um, and the one I built was just as noisy as this one. Uh, we did notice that this one seemed a little noisier, but I may have put it in a different place on the rack than where I mounted the first one. So I think that's about it. Um, don't know what else to say. And it literally takes just a few minutes to fold back up. So, uh, all right guys, thanks for watching and, uh, look out for more videos. Thanks.